I was thinking, you know, this is the first video that I'm going to be uploading in quite a long time. And I have another one of these metal trash cans that's a lot bigger. And normally I just fill all this stuff, you know, every two weeks or so. I just fill up the big one and let the trash men, you know, throw it away. But I'm like, hmm, if I'm actually going to be recording a video, I should probably set this on fire. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'll have a party. We'll set it on fire for old time's sake. And uh, obviously we have quite a bit more to do. But um, I think that's what we're going to do. working on this tree limb project for a few months now. I'll show you the tree that came down. And this whole thing right here just like covered the entire garage. Oh, and this guy's been stalking me all day. What is this guy? Weird. But anyway, um, these have had a couple months to uh, dry out, so it's probably good for firewood and all that kind of stuff. And then now I'm going to fix the trailer. Okay, so the tailgate was off, now it's back on. That was very difficult to get back in. Um, I had to put this in, but the entire rod starts over here, and I had to balance the whole gate while well, hammering that in. So, this is a load right, it's galvanized, it's a utility trailer and a dump trailer, because you actually just pull this pin out right here, and then the whole thing just goes right up. Um, I'm actually thinking about selling this one because I have this other one that I think is maybe a little bit stronger. Um, but one thing about this is that it's 10 years old and has no rust on it whatsoever. Well, except for the wheel hub, but this is rusty because that is not a load right product. That's not load right. That's not load right. There's a different brand for that actually. But everything that's made in the load rights factory no rust. Ten years old, sitting outside. It's really nice. Um, but I actually just like the heavy-duty aspect of that one a little bit more. Um, mesh tailgate, so it actually reduces drag a little bit when you're towing, which is kind of cool. And then I installed this wood here, all this stuff, so it keeps mulch in or rocks or wood um, all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, the light broke off the other day when we were taking the floating dock out of the river. So actually, this is really interesting. When I was putting this in right here, I noticed the 
different layers of galvanized steel. So basically, you can see the total outer, outer portion that's galvanized has no rust. But because this has been exposed for a couple weeks now, you can actually see where the rust is starting to come in. But when it broke initially, um, a couple weeks ago, there was obviously no rust on that whatsoever. And it broke because someone stepped on it. I'll show you the piece. Here's where it was attached. Just like this. So obviously if I backed into anything or hit anything, then this light would be totally shattered. And the autofocus is really not too good right now. Wow. Oh, nice. Um, so this attaches just like this. It's an L bracket. See the bracket goes through just like that. Haven't had the time to replace it. Um, nor do I really know where to get that exact part, although there is literally load right manufacturer is five miles from my house. But they don't sell direct to the public, unfortunately. And these are totally um, brand new lights. So they're a month old and then literally, what, two weeks after I redid the wiring for the entire trailer. Someone stepped on this part and it broke right off. So, just got a couple gashes from doing that piece, but no big deal. Alright, so if you want it, um, come and get it. A thousand bucks. Alright, so here I am inside, finally. Um, that's basically scotch with seltzer water, actually make this process a little bit nicer so all right this is always asking me even if i type this in two seconds look go away um i haven't edited a video in a long time so we're gonna see what goes oh here's my note to self to change my taxes for the past three years, which I've overpaid Jersey taxes, which is great, so let's get rid of that. Oh. New software for my iPhone. Well, I guess I'll see you right after that. Okay, so I pretty much just finished editing the video as good as I can. Um... If you guys have any suggestions on how to add text inside of iMovie, like that would be really cool. Um, like let's say I'm right here and then I just want to like add some text and tell you kind of what I was thinking at that moment. Or actually even throughout the rest of the video like in here. It would be cool just to put a blurb up right there real quick and then let you know what's going on. Um... Okay, well, that's probably about it. Um, my girlfriend is bringing me a double quarter pounder and cheese. Perfect. I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, and let me know if you want that trailer. Thanks.